let's talk a little bit about while loops. Uh, let's see, let's make a new class. New class while loops, and we're gonna check this box right there. Cool. Okay, so what do while loops do? While loops help us uh, reiterate over the same block of code over and over again um, for as many repetitions as we specify. This can be really useful. This way we don't have to retype code over and over again. So let's see, let's make an integer. My int equal to, let's set it to zero. So what's our program gonna do our program? Um, let's have it count to 100. It's gonna print out every number between one and 100. How about that? Um, it would be a pain in the neck to have to do it ourselves, so let's have Java do it for us. Um, so how do we do this? While loop. We start by typing in while. We're gonna do a set of brackets there and a set of code block curly brackets there okay so how is this going to work inside these brackets just like in the if statement we're going to have a condition while my int is less than or equal to 100 okay and while my int is less than or equal to 100 whatever is in this code block is ex is going to execute so how about we do sys system dot out dot print and i'm not going to have it print on a separate line this time. I'm just going to have a, a regular print. And I'm going to have, let's see, I'm going to have, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have my int, I'm going to print my int, plus a blank space, just like that. Okay? So there's a space in there, and my int's right there. Okay, so what happens if we run this right now? Oh, and after the while loop, after everything's said and done, outside of this code block, see, this is the code block that the while loop is going to run. Outside of it, I'm going to do System dot out dot print line all done. There we go. Just like that. Good. Okay, so what's this gonna do if we hit play? Do you think it's gonna do anything good? Proceed. Uh oh, uh oh. Something's bad ha is happening. You know what's happening? We we forgot to terminate the loop. Uh, my int is never gonna be more than a hundred. And because of that, the while loop will never stop and it's an infinite loop and we don't want those in our programming so whenever we do a while loop we gotta make sure that somehow my int will be more than 100 somehow the condition becomes false how do we do that inside the while loop after the print statement we go my int plus plus what this does adding plus plus right here is it takes the value of my int and just adds one to it so every time the loop goes through, it adds one to my int. And 100 times from now, my int will c become 101. And then the loop will become false. And it will stop executing, it will go to the next thing, print all done, and we should be good to go. So let's see if this works. Play, okay, proceed. There we go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 100. And it printed all done and it printed a new line so now we'd actually have the next line right here so I probably should have printed a blank line before that but as you can see it printed 1 through 100 just like we wanted it to so one more time let me explain what's, what happened program started set my int at 0 it saw a while loop a while loop condition was my int is has to be less than or equal to 100 for it to run it went into the loop it printed my int it printed a space then it increased so it printed off zero. Then it increased my int by one. It went back to the while loop. Is one less than a, or equal to 100? Yes, it is. So it went, printed one, printed a space, and increased my int by one. It went back to the while loop. It did that until my int was equal to, um, to 100. And then it went through the loop, printed a 100, printed a space, and then increased it to 101. Then it went back to the while loop, saw the condition, is my int equal to or less than 100? No, it's 101 now. And then it printed all done. Just to show you that it is in fact 101, let me print it out. Print line, my int. So at the end of this, my int would be, okay, proceed. My int would be 101, just like that. And uh, that's the basic structure of a while loop.